Hey guys, today we've got another Pro Wrestling Loot, but the crazy thing is, if you noticed in the thumbnail, it's some box damage. So I don't know if, if in the mail they're just getting too busy and things are getting thrown and they're not realizing, or maybe certain people are just getting careless now. I had an anime subscription with some box damage and luckily the Funko Pop in there wasn't damaged. This one could contain a vinyl figure and of course it has an autograph in here and definitely don't want anything wrong with that photograph. But as you can see, pretty bad crease right there. A lot of indention there, but hopefully everything is good, and let's see what we got. Alright, item number one, okay, we got a box, so this might be up on a figure. Okay, we've got independent wrestling star Joey Ryan. And by the looks of the box, I don't see much damage. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool little uh, figure. Nice to get his autograph. He's very funny in the ring, except the whole thing that he does with uh, that sucker by putting it into his wrestling trunks. Even though I know he has like another pair behind that one, just doing that and then taking out it later, it's just a little gross. Hit like if you agree with that statement. Okay. Next item. Okay, something rolled up. What we got? What kind of poster is this? Ah, okay. Ultima Lucha Dose. King Cuerno versus Mil Mortes in the death match they had. Now, Mil Mortes, if you watch Impact Wrestling, he uh, was with uh, James Mitchell under. Uh, Messias, supposed to have been the brother to Abyss, I do believe. King Cuerno, I can't remember if he's done other gimmicks. But all in all, that's a pretty cool poster. I'm going to have to find a large enough frame and post this up on the wall. It'd be neat to see any of them in AAA, AEW, or even in New Japan. Because they've got great time. Alright. Next item. Okay, we got a shirt. No? Oh, cool. Oh. And stuck to it was a collector's pen. Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper. That is awesome. Last month got Bret Hart. And now another legend from uh, the 80s all the way through the 90s. Roddy Piper, that is cool. And another 
another luchador mask. That's pretty cool. Now, not too far from where I live, they have an independent promotion that uh, happens uh, every once in a while uh, called Elite Championship Wrestling. I wouldn't mind taking this there and get autographed. So. That would be a nice little thing to add into my wrestling autograph collection. Because if you watch, like, say WWE, I got want one of the guys autograph that was on there against Braun Strowman, Americos. He's from, like, a, one of the promotions in Texas and has occasionally wrestled different areas. So. If it's not him getting his autograph again, hopefully there's another Lucha Libre wrestler that would be cool to get their autograph. Now on to the next. Okay. Alright, so no shirt in this box, I guess, because of the, the wrestling mask. It would have been neat to have gotten a shirt. Okay, we have a trading card. Seriously, trading card icon. We've got the man called Sting. Yep. The days before he donned the iconic pro makeup. That man is a legend. Too bad he never got to face the Undertaker. That would have been up awesome Wrestlemania match. Okay, next up. Okay, we've got a Lucha Underground decal sticker. That's nice. I'll probably add this one into a little scrapbook. Okay. Okay. A certificate of authenticity card will stuck to it. So I'm not going to look at that one. It's probably going to detail who the autograph is, and I won't be surprised when I look. Like last month's box, I was kind of shocked. There were two in there. Only one with autograph. Let's see. That's detail that's in there. Okay, so there's no picture this time, so just the final figure that was autographed. That's the autograph for this month, apparently. All in all, it was cool. So, this is what it shows for this box. We had the signed action figure of independent star Joey Ryan. It'd be neat to see him come around here and uh, wrestle with this. He's got an unorthodox style in his uh, wrestling moves. Okay, then the wrestling poster from the Lucha Underground. Oh, no way. This is a wrestling mask of legendary wrestler Silver King. Ramses. That man is another one of the great legends in Lucha Libre. We had the Guerreros, the Silver King. Man, there were, there's way too many to name in Lucha Libre. That is cool. Okay. The 
exclusive pin to the box was the Rowdy Rowdy Piper pin and the trading card. Of course, before the donning of the black and white crow paint, the man costume, the awesome high top blonde hair. That was awesome before he went to the brooding light when the NWO had started. But still, even that new persona boosted him even more because of the popularity that film had, I would say. That's my opinion. So, all these n cool things in here, I'm just glad that the side Joey Ryan's figure that was autographed was not on the side that was damaged because that would have sucked if that box would have had damage, especially right on top of his autograph. So, alright guys, if you liked this box, give it two thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click on notifications, that way you will always be reminded toward my next upload. Y'all definitely have a great one.